Hey guys, it's Max from Lawn Hub here, and I just wanted to do a quick video here with Duffy at my place. Um, so at my house, this earlier this in the spring, we fully renovated the lawn. We we scalped it, we scarified it, we cored it, and we top dressed it. It was quite a thick top dress. You can probably remember back to an old video where the complete lawn was white with sand. Um, so over the space of the last few months. Work's been pretty busy, so I've let it go a little bit. And it got quite thick and spongy, and, and some will say thatchy. Uh, so I actually scarified two directions last two weeks ago, two weeks today. And as you can see, it's recovered really well. You can see the scarifying lines going up around the corner there. Um, but I wanted to do a quick video on A, our new sand that we have, our lawn hub top dressing sand. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to show you guys, you can do a nice little dust this late in the year and we'll show you some results in the next couple of weeks I'm hoping. Does that actually look wicked in slow-mo? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's one of my neighbours just around the corner. He's got a wicked lawn. Oh, yeah. A wicked lawn. So. so this spot here that I'm about to flick some sand in front of the hedge here, because it's on a slope and I use a cylinder mower, it sort of gets cut the same way every single time and it's leaving a little tiny bit of a rut, so this, that's a really good thing to be dusting on. Um, the height is square on my mower, for those of you wondering, um, but you can see that line that sort of follows around and it sort of becomes a bit of a hassle. You can scalp a little bit or you can, yeah, it's just missing a little bit, so we'll try and build that up with the dusting and a few other little hollows that we've got. So when we talk dusting, um, we really don't want much of this left on top. All it is is basically filling in the gaps that the scarifier has created. So you can see after I've finished, there won't actually be any above grass level. There'll be nothing that the grass has to work through. It's mainly just filling up the gaps where the scarifier went through and a few of the pitted areas that have come up during the season. So you can see that it doesn't actually leave a whole lot behind. I've got a little bit more work to do here until it's done, but you get the gist of it. You can dust and it will really, you know, it'll be, it'll be growing nice and, and strongly. I've given it a granular feed a week ago, ready for this. Um, so I use Trojan. It's all washed in after two waters in the last two weeks. And yeah, this grass should be booming and, and ready for another application of, of Premature in, in late March, ready for winter. So you can see the line here. That's where my mower is just struggling to keep it level there. So obviously I've got a bit of a dip, that's where the sand's falling mostly. So it's a good time to do this um, when you've been cutting in the same direction a lot or if you've got the stripes in your lawn and you really want to mix them up, uh, it's a good time to do that. It'll fall in all the holes and yeah, if you're coring this time of the year, which is also fine, this stuff's going to be perfect to get down the core holes. You'll notice that I've left that a bit longer up near my door, front door. Um, it does get a lot of shade from that tree and that conifer. So I'm, it's always been a struggle to try and get it growing as well as what it does out here. 
Um, so I'm not gonna put any sand there. I'm happy with how it's coming along. It's been scarified. I probably didn't need to do it that badly, but I did it anyway. Um, it's coming back, it's a little bit slower. I'll feed that a little bit more with liquids, try and get that boosting. Um, and yeah, that's, that's the only reason I'm not top dressing that bit. All right, bit red in the face. Bit of sweat. Pretty warm here today, 35. But that's about the gist of it. Um, so I think I used 250 kilos and I'm pretty confident to say that I'd, there's no rocks in that. There's no bigger pieces, there's no abnormal sizes. That is what it is. Um, it's gone on nicely. Obviously I'm just using a crappy old Bunnings broom. You can use whatever you want. If you've got a soil spreader, go for it. If you've got a, the back of a rake, if that's all you've got, use it, go for it, no worries. Um, but yeah, the main thing is that we're keeping it below, into the canopy, below the height of the lawn. And I said to Duffy before that I'm be pretty confident this will be all filled in in a couple of days. So if you guys like what you saw here today, um, please subscribe to the channel um, and like our Facebook page and Instagram. Um, yeah, and if you've got any content that you would really like to see, Duffy and I are looking for things to do and, and things to bring you. And yeah, we're uh, pretty keen on doing a few things over the next couple of months. So yeah, let us know. Cheers. Snap! Snap!